if you're watching this with headphones in, please take the headphones out because this might get a little loud. What's poppin' my vibes? It's your girl, Vibin' with Raven here, period, and welcome back to another video. So, I know you guys can tell by that thumbnail and that title that today's video is called Balloon Trivia. So, I'm going to explain more of what Balloon Trivia is in just a second, but I just want to say, y'all, I'm trying to bring, like, the fun series back on my channel like i want to start doing like challenges more pranks like all of that because like i don't want my channel to get boring and i don't want to bore y'all out so i am finna try to push out more content it's going to be different from like the vlogs and stuff that i'm used to doing but i feel like it's time for me to like step out my comfort zone and stuff so, y'all definitely finna start getting, like, better videos, okay? So, yeah. So, with that being said, I'm about to explain what balloon trivia is. So, basically, as you guys can see, I have a bowl of numbers, and then I also have some balloons. So, you guys may not be able to tell, but on the balloons, we actually have numbers, and then inside the balloons, we actually have questions. As you guys can see, oops. So basically, whatever number I pick dictates what balloon I have to pop and what question I have to answer. Okay? So that's how this challenge is going to go. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we finna get into this video. Period. Alright y'all, so we finna get into it. So I'm just gonna shake these up. Alright, I'm just gonna pick a random number. This number is, drum roll please. Number 11. All right. Also, y'all, I have a pen here or whatever, a thumbtack, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using to pop these balloons. So, number 11. If you're watching this with headphones in, please take the headphones out because this might get a little loud. Woo! Y'all, I'm so scared. Like, I hate the sound. Of a balloon popping like it just be too loud so we got number 11 let's pop it Woo! I'm so scared I'm so scared okay ready set go Woo! all right first question is what's your proudest accomplishment so y'all, I would say one of my biggest accomplishments, um, I would say moving into my own apartment. Because honestly, y'all, when we moved out our last house, never in a million years did I think like I was going to be moving into my own apartment. Like that's a big step you have to take. Like that's adult move. Like you know what I mean? So I would say that's definitely one of my biggest accomplishments. So yeah, let's... Pull another number. All right. Okay, y'all. We got number one. Where's number one? Right here. Y'all, these balloons are so loud. Oh, my gosh. All right. Can y'all see? Number one. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even pop it. Y'all, this scares me so bad. Okay. Woo! Where did the question go? Right here. Okay, y'all. So, the question is... <laughs> y'all, some of these questions are spicy. Not gonna lie. Alright, this one says... What's your favorite body part on your partner? If you guys don't know, I'm not single. Not ready to mingle. Nah, but my favorite body part on my man is his belly. I tell him that all the time. Like, it's not too big and it's not too small. Like, I just love to sleep on his belly. Like, I don't know. That's just my favorite part. <laughs> Call me weird. 
call me whatever. But that's my favorite body part on a man. But um, let's pick another number. Y'all, I might end this challenge early, honestly, because these balloons scaring me a little bit. Alright, y'all, next number we got is number eight. Where are you, number eight? Where are you? Right here. Alright, y'all. Number eight. One, two, three. Woo! I know my neighbor's like, girl, what are you doing? Alright, y'all. This says, what do you do when you need to relax? Go to sleep. Honestly. Like, real talk. Or, I would take like a nice hot bath and then like light some candles and stuff and call it a night but yeah definitely sleeping though because sleeping you ain't worried about that honestly unless you're having like a bad dream then yeah but let's pick another number this number is seven where's number seven right here one two Y'all, I be so scared. Oh, my gosh. Alrighty. Wait. Did this one have three? Y'all, this one has three questions. Uh, we got a bonus one. Alright. This one says, when was your first kiss? My first kiss was... How old am I? 23? 21 mm -hmm. my first kiss was actually four years ago I was 19 and that was actually when I was going with my first ever boyfriend like I don't count like middle school boyfriends or nothing like that like he was a kid so my first official boyfriend was when I was 19 so that's when I had my first kiss this one says what do you like most about yourself honestly everything i'm not insecure with myself um if anybody out there insecure god made you the way you're supposed to be don't be insecure about yourself if anybody's making you feel insecure about yourself delete them out of your life because i think everybody is beautiful in their own way and this one says what was your first impression of your boyfriend? <laughs> um, honestly, y'all, I would give y'all a whole rundown on how I met my boyfriend, but I'm going to save that for another video. But honestly, my first impression of him was like, this man is fine. Honestly, he came up to me first, y'all, like. I didn't even go to him because I'm really shy when it comes to stuff like that. Like, baby, you got to let me know that you want to talk to me because I'm already a little shy. So, I was already like, dang, this man fine. Like, yeah, that. But, yeah, that was my first impression. Let's pick another number. This is number... 14 where's number 14 right here this is actually one question i think it's another bonus balloon i think i didn't mention that in the beginning but some of them have like two some of them have three so the ones with two and three questions in it are um bonus balloons but y'all uh, this is number 14 Woo! i'm so scared is y'all i'm turning all the paper do you like it if someone makes the first move just like i said for my last answer y'all i'm a little shy so my man need to be dominant is that the word yeah i think that's the word he gotta be more like you know like i'm i'm the shy one so you gotta be doing more than me that's like before i get like really comfortable with you then, like, after I get comfortable and stuff with you, 
then I might start like making the first move and stuff. But other than that, let me know. No, not at all. So yeah, they definitely got to make the first move. Not they, because I'm going to be with my man for the rest of my life. So yeah, he definitely got to make the first move. Not anymore though, because we're so comfortable with each other now. But yeah, and I actually get to go see him tomorrow. Super excited. I ain't seen my man in like three weeks. But yeah. Next one is number 10. Can you guys see? Number 10, where are you? Right here. Y'all, I don't know what the thing is. Oh, here you go. This video is all over the place. I know I'm hate editing this video. But, um, number 10. Alrighty. So, this one says, do you miss any of your exes? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Actually, yes. Honestly. The only ex I missed is my man because my man is my ex. He my man. He my husband. He my baby. He my all of the above. Because honestly, y'all, I don't have no exes. I don't claim nobody as my ex because honestly, if y'all not with me now, then obviously y'all was just examples of what not to do again. So, yeah, I miss my ex as in my man. He's never going to be my ex, but y'all get the drift. But yeah, and it's number. This number is, I'm going to show y'all first. What is it? Five. Where you at? Where you at? Right here. Y'all, this is another bonus one. It got two questions in it. Number five. Woo. That hurt in my ears. All right, y'all. This one says, what scares you about relationships? Honestly, I don't even know. Honestly. What scares me the most is if, like, the man don't know how to, like, communicate. Like, y'all, I'm the type of person, I'm a clingy girlfriend, okay? Like, I want you texting me. I want you calling me. Not all the time because I know you're doing stuff. And sometimes I be at the point where it's like, I don't want to be on the phone. Like, you know. So I would definitely say it scares me if my partner don't know how to communicate. Or if they're not showing me enough attention. Or if they rather go hang out with friends than to be with me. Or, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, I dodged all them bullets. So, I ain't worried about it. But the next one says... When did you meet your bestie? I met Gabby in September. Next number. Number four. Where you at, number four? Oh! Oh! Number four was being stubborn. It didn't want to pop. All right, this question says, have you ever broken someone's heart? Your girl is a heartbreaker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Honestly, y'all, this guy told me I broke his heart before. Honestly. And I really felt like he was heartbroken. And the only reason why he was heartbroken is because I didn't really want to be with him. And he was, like, older than me, for real, for real, like, for him to be older than me and stuff, he was very immature. He was all of the above, but yeah. Next, number. Number nine. One, two. Oh. <laughs> I was so scared. I was trying to do it without thinking about it, but like, you know, I kind of got scared. Me off them. <laughs> all right, y'all. I apologize if this video is all over the place. All right, this one says if you could go back and do a year of your life over, would you and what year? 
Um, honestly, I like for the past to be the past. I can't really say what year I will go back to, honestly, because it's been a lot of happy moments in my life. But, um, I would say I would love to go back to being happy. Like, I'm not saying I'm not happy now, but y'all know everybody just got that era where, like, they were just, like, really, 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 really happy. And, honestly, my era of being happy is when I didn't have to pay no bills. <laughs> it's when I didn't have to pay no bills because bills is taking over, like, over. And definitely just being a kid because as a kid, y'all, I used to say, I'm ready to be grown. I'm ready to be grown. Now look at me. Stuck with a bunch of bills. It's like you just go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. At this point, you might as well just take your bed to work. Because, like, what? What are we doing? So, yeah. But I would definitely just say let the past be the past. I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah. Next number is number three. Let's see what number three talk about. Is this a double question? No. It's just one question. I got a feeling I'm going to pick number two next. Watch. We got number three. Alright, so this question says... What was the worst date you've been on? Y'all, oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all. So the worst date I ever been on, it wasn't even a date for real. Y'all, y'all just gotta stay tuned for the um story time. Make sure you guys go tune in to my TikTok. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here on the screen. Go tune in because that's where I'm about to spill all the tea at. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna be one day this week. All right, next number. Next number is six. All righty. This one says, what's your best pickup line? Y'all, let me read y'all real quick. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all, I'm not really good at pickup lines, but this one I told my boyfriend before. I was just like trying to clown around or whatever. So if it was corny, I didn't want him to laugh at me. I wanted him to laugh because the joke was funny. <laughs> I was so corny. Okay, so it goes like, um, how does it go? Oh, I would love to take you to the movies with me, but they said I couldn't bring my own snack. <laughs> Is that corny? I hope that's not corny. If so, I'm going to edit it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope that's not funny. But y'all, we have three balloons left. So we got two, 13, and 12. What number shall we pick? Alrighty. I want to pick 12, honestly. I don't know what the question is, but I just want to pick 12. Hmm. We picked 13. All right, y'all. One, two, three. This question say, if I can open it, what do you find sexy? Me and my man, period. That's it. That's all. Period. Next question. Is this my man or what? No, that's my sister. She's going to have to wait because I'm filming. Alright. What y'all think this number is? 2 or 12? Comment down below. This is number... 2. Alright, y'all. This one is a double question. Now, honestly, because this is a double question, we're actually going to do this one last. So, let's pick another number. I just want to pick the number, y'all. I know it's going to be number 12. Number 12. All righty. One, 
two, three. That one was loud. All right, y'all. This one say, have I ever been in love? Yeah, with my man. And that's on period. I've only been in love with my man, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm just so in love, for real, for real. But this is the grand finale. This is a double question. Number two. All right, let me stop procrastinating. One, two, nope, nope, we're not popping it till y'all count down with me. Go. Three, two, <coughs> this question is, do you like to cuddle? Yes, I do. A butt of my man, y'all, I lay on his stomach and I just be out like a light. I just be out. Out of this world. All right, y'all. Last question is, what's one of your favorite date spots? Um, honestly, y'all, a picnic. Honestly, I think I've always said that in the Q and A. Like that's my dream date. I know people be like, "Girl, that ain't nothing. A little picnic, like what?" But y'all, honestly, that's my dream date. Like I want it to be set up like real nice and cute. Have on some cute clothes. Take some pictures. And yeah, like, that's my idea of dream date for real. But yeah. So as you guys can see, all the numbers are gone. All the balloons are gone. So this video has sadly came to an end. But y'all, I just want to show you guys the aftermath of what I'm about to have to clean up. Balloons. Paper. Like, uh. But yeah. That's what I'm getting ready to do. But, like I said, oh, hold on, y'all. Technical difficulties. Hold on. But, yeah, with that being said, y'all, that's the end of this video. So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys want part two of this. This was actually pretty fun. And I do see myself doing another one of these. But, you guys let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. So, yeah, with that being said. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.